Hi everybody, my name is Jessie and I do perfume reviews in ASMR format. So if you like perfumes and also if you like ASMR, you're in a good place for our video today. So today I'm going to be reviewing some samples that I ordered. Here's the box that they came in. And this is from the brand Miller Harris. I think Miller Harris is an English brand. Let me Google to make sure. Yeah, it looks like it's based out of London. I hope that's right. I gave it like a two second Google search, but yeah, so, um, but they do have a US website because initially I tried to buy these off the um, a UK website and I wasn't able to, but they do have a, um, a US website, so I purchased these off of the US website. So yeah, each sample comes in a little box, um, and I just ordered the ones that I thought I would like. I kind of know myself well enough to not order certain ones with certain notes and things like that. I like looked at the Fragrantica reviews a little bit, so I only ordered the ones that I thought I would like. I think I got seven. Um, so yeah, wanted to go through these with you guys, and I have not smelled these before, so this would be my first smell, and what I'm gonna do is not look at the notes and main accords and whatever until I actually, um, smell it and like kind of make my own guesses um and it's fun because it just allows me to like it allows me to really think a little bit harder kind of see where my nose is at and um yeah what i'm picking up on so that should be fun um i didn't dress in any particular way this is what i wore in my last video that i just filmed on clean soft laundry that was the scent so no particular theme for today since I'm reviewing a bunch of samples. Okay, so the first sample that I have is called, and I'm sorry, I did not look up how to pronounce all these, so sorry, but this one's called Coeur de Jardin, which I think is something garden. that have fairies on them. Oh, so this one, this one is the dandelion fairy. Super cute. All right, and I'm gonna give this a spray. And just give this a moment to dry down. So, Queer du Jardina, I don't know what the first part means, but I'm assuming this is gonna smell kind of like a garden, like maybe fruity, aromatic, that's like my assumption based off the word. But anyway, let's give it a smell. Hmm. Okay, it's a little bit tart. Um, I would say like a little bit tart and fruity and floral. Maybe a touch green. Hmm, this is really nice. Um, yeah, it's very fresh. It's like fresh, juicy, tart. Okay, let's look at the main accords and the notes. So, we have fruity, sweet, citrus, white floral, powdery, earthy. Um, so yeah, very like gardenal, I would say. Hmm. Yeah, I do get a touch of an earthiness now that I think about it. And I'm looking at the notes. Ooh, this has a lot of notes that intrigue me. It has um, some fruits, peach and pear, and some citrus. It's got rose and white florals, and it's got patchouli and moss and musk in the base. Wow, this is so nice. I actually, I started off with one that might be one of my favorites. I just love anything with a mossy note, and it's fresh. I love pear as well, so I'm definitely going to be wearing this one, and 
seeing if it's something that I'd consider buying a full bottle of, but yeah, really liked what I'm smelling there, so that is Coeur d'Ardine. Alright, next we have La Cedre, which I'm pretty sure means cedar, so... I know we're gonna have a cedar note in this fragrance, but I'm not really sure if it's just that or if there's some other notes going on. Um, okay, oh, we've got a little, like, I think this is a hydrangea, hydrangea fairy. All right, so let's give this a little spray. Oh no, I don't think that this sprayer is working. Okay, I don't know, something was wrong with the vial and it wasn't spraying. I pushed it like literally 60 times and then I like kind of messed with the top a little bit and it finally came out. So I hope I'll be able to get more out of it if I want to sample it on my body. But anyway, um, ooh. Okay, I would like another spray of this. Okay, good. I got another spray out of it. But I got something obviously cedary woody, but also kind of fresh. Hmm, that is so nice. Yeah, it's like a little bit fresh and spicy, and maybe like a touch green, cedary, powdery, woody. This is definitely something that I would wear um, you know, you know, wear the sample and consider and see if I would like a bottle. There's a lot of, um, samples that I don't even wind up wearing on my skin because I just, I know that people say you're supposed to like, you're supposed to just, um, try it out on your skin and body because it's different, but sometimes you just smell something and you just know it's not going to work for you and it's not that it's not a good perfume or whatever, you just know doesn't vibe with you, but anyway, this one vibes enough on paper. That's something I would totally consider trying. It's straight up unisex, woody, powdery. Let's look at the, um, what Fragrantica says. It says woody, musky, powdery, fresh, spicy, soft, spicy. Yeah, so it has notes of pink pepper, pepper, and incense. Okay, so that's what was giving it the like little bits of spiciness and then incense. It has mimosa and orchid. And then in the base, cedar, woody notes, cashmere wood, and musk. So this is really nice. Wow, I feel like maybe I'll like all the other ones as much, but I started off with two ones that I really liked, so that's kind of cool. Alright, so that is La Cedre by Miller Harris. Okay, thirdly, this is Lair de Rain. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Lair de Rain. Um, I think this is the reason that I wound up ordering samples off of Miller Harris. Because I was, I'm like trying to find more fragrances with oak moss or moss because I really like that note. Not not if it's just like straight up moss, but it, it, as a note in fragrances, I really like. So I found this one, which I think has an oak moss note. It's supposed to smell kind of like, I think like airy, the air after rain, I'm assuming according to the name. Anyway, so this a smell and I'll tell you what I'm getting because like I said I've not looked at the notes um well I looked at these notes a while back but I don't remember now everything okay this is um what is this called elderberry elderberry fairy alrighty so let's give this a spray Ooh, came right out gonna let it dry um, hmm. Oh, wow, interesting. I'm gonna give that another spray just to really like get a good, but I definitely feel like I got some patchouli. Maybe almost like a bit of warm spiciness. Okay, yeah, 
this is interesting. This I was not expecting. I was thinking more fresh. Uh, but I'm getting something very warm, softly spicy. Warm, spicy, almost like a touch incense-y. Patchouli. Kind of smells like... Kind of smells like a metaphysical shop. Like a spiritual shop that you'd walk in where there's like the incenses and things like that. Yeah, ambery, definitely like ambery patchouli. Interesting, I was not expecting this. This is not one that I would wear myself, but um, I like it. I think I'd like it more in like a candle. But yeah, it has no uh, main accords of amber, musky, earthy, mossy, powdery. Um, let's go ahead and look at the notes. Oh, it only has a few notes. It has neroli, oak moss, patchouli, amber, musk, and vanilla. Feels like there's gotta be more than that. Feels like there's gotta be like incense or something a little spicier. But I guess not. Yeah. Definitely like it's subtle it's settling down as it dries down, so I might try wearing this, um, just to see if it's any different on my clothes and skin, but yeah, probably not one that I would wind up ever buying a bottle of, but, okay, so that is Lair du Rain. Alright, and next, this one is called Secret Gardenia. Obviously, it's gonna have gardenia in it. I don't remember if this has like a whole lot of other notes or if it's kind of just a straight up gardenia fragrance. So we'll find out. And okay, we've got, I don't know what these are, but it's a little tree, tree fairy. Okay, let's get this a spray. Probably not gonna need a whole lot because gardenia is really strong usually. It's a strong pungent white floral. Hmm. This is so nice. Wow. Okay, this is like a very fresh. It's a very fresh green gardenia. That's like mostly all I can say. Fresh green gardenia. There's probably some other notes, like, maybe almost something like lilac, I don't know. Yeah, it almost smells like there's like lilac in it, but it's airy, kind of like almost watery, aquatic, fresh gardenia. This is super nice. Like, this might be the best gardenia scent that I personally have smelled, like, that's like mostly gardenia, because I did a review on, um, what was it called? Elizabeth Taylor gardenia. That one was nice, but it's just it was a little bit too heady and like Intense white floral for me. This one's like Yeah, I feel like I could maybe wear this one actually. So let's look. It says um, White floral aquatic fresh. So it's correct that it is kind of like an aquatic vibe violet powdery electonic Okay, let's look at the notes. Ooh, okay. So, we have watery notes, so it's definitely an aquatic. There's also pear and yuzu and bergamot, so citrus and pear, which is like a watery fruit. And then in addition to gardenia, there's jasmine, violet, and ylang-ylang. I do get the violet. Yeah, that's what I was getting that I kind of almost thought was like lilac, but it's violet. This is so nice. Oh my gosh, I love this. And then in the base we have musk, sandalwood, and cedar. I love this. I'm gonna wear this and boy, I feel like I'm gonna enjoy wearing this. We'll see. But anyway, um, obviously you have to like florals to like this sort of scent, but I think this is really pretty. I think that all of the other notes, like the violet and the musk and watery notes, Kind of tone it down so it's not like super heady strong gardenia but 
it is dominant in gardenia. All right. Wow. So we're doing good. I'm really liking these fragrances. Okay. Next we have Violet Ida. So I'm pretty sure this has violet in it. I love the color. Really nice color. Um, purple. Okay, so let's give this a spray. This is... Oh, the Mountain Ash Fairy. Doesn't that look like a rowan berry? We have rowan berries where I live. I feel like this looks like a ro rowan berry. Maybe they're similar. Okay, let's give this a spray. This is so fun. I really like um, guessing notes and then like seeing how close I am. Because let me tell you, when I first started, even when I first started this channel, I kind of sucked at um, being able to guess notes. Like straight up, like you just don't know until you get in there, you know, but I've, I feel like I've gotten a lot better at this. So, oh, oh my god. Okay. Um, Iris. That's what I mostly am getting from this, is iris. So maybe the violet is in reference to the color and not the flower, because I don't really... I don't really think that I smell, um... violets, but I think I smell iris for sure. It's a makeup-y, lipstick -y sort of iris. I don't know what else I'm getting. I feel like it's like a powdery iris. Probably getting some other powdery notes like musk, but I'm mainly just getting like a very makeup-y iris. I do like it. I'm not sure that I would buy a bottle, but I've never worn something quite this irisy, so I couldn't tell you. Okay, so we have iris. We have heliotrope, which is another purple floral, and then we have carrot seed. Which actually, I feel like I can get that a little bit. It's just subtle, but I have carrot seed essential oil, so I feel like I can get that a little bit. Bergamot, which I don't really get. And then vanilla, which is very subtle, but I think I do get a touch. And then something called liquid ambar. Like one word, that must be ambar, A-M-B-A-R. That must be a synthetic compound that smells kind of ambery. I'm gonna look it up and see what it says. Okay, I just learned something. So I looked it up. Liquid ambar is a tree. It's a tree that kind of looks like a maple. So yeah, but really I mainly just get iris, like a powdery iris. It's really nice. Very makeup-y. I will definitely be wearing this one out and seeing um, yeah, seeing if I like it on my skin and clothes. So that is Violet Ida. Okay, we just have one, no, is this true? Oh, three more, sorry. I thought we had one more. Okay. But I'm really liking these. Okay. This one's called Poo Santel, which means sandalwood skin. Um, in French, and so I'm assuming this is going to be a sandalwood dominant sort of skin scent, is my assumption, based on the name, Pou Santal. And let's see what we have. This is, okay, I don't know this flower, but green and white. Okay, so yeah, this is for sure sandalwood. Let's see if I can give it another spray. Okay, that worked. That sprayed. Hmm. Okay, this is really nice. Am I a broken record? I feel like I say really nice for everything, but 
this to me is like a soft spicy sandalwood um yeah it's like a soft spicy sandalwood it's a touch dilly for people who smell um like dill kind of like dill pickles in sandalwood this has a touch of that going on but i think it's really nice i don't tend to go for super dominant in a sandalwood sense but i will try wearing this one because i think it's i like it um okay so it has woody warm spicy amber powdery balsamic musky accords um it has notes of saffron pink pepper um oibonum papyrus sandalwood obviously it also has moss in the base and amber and vanilla i didn't say all the notes but i'm mostly getting i think like the sandalwood and something spicy probably either the pink pepper maybe the olive bonum i'm not really sure exactly what or like the saffron i'm not sure but yeah this is nice this is a scent that i don't tend to go for spicy scents but this one's just very softly spicy so it's something that i might wear okay so that was really nice that was Poo Santal. Jeez, I'm gonna be wearing a lot of these to test out, test out. Oddly enough, the only one I don't think is gonna work so far is the one that I, you know, the reason why I ordered samples. So funny. Okay. Next, this one is Hydrafique. I think this one is their newest release and obviously it's a fig fragrance and i think it's kind of like an aquatic marine fig fragrance but i don't remember the notes in it oh and this is a nasturtium nasturtium fairy nasturtiums are edible flowers so a lot of times you see them like when you have something with edible flowers fig, very realistic, kind of like Philosikos, but this one's like fresher and a little more biting. Like, I feel like it might have something like aromatic or almost like lightly spicy, like mint or rosemary or something. I don't know. Yeah, licorice. I don't know, something... Okay, let's look at the notes. So, are the main accords? We have aromatic, marine, woody, salty, fruity, warm, spicy. I feel like I'm doing really good at guessing what is in here, so I'm like super proud of myself. Okay, yeah, so we have quite a few kind of spicy notes. We've got cardamom, saffron, and ginger. And then um, we've got some citruses in the top notes. We've got marine notes, fig, of course, and also sea salt. So, but I'm not saying this is like a super marine scent. It's just got like the lightest touch of that. Um, and then there's also sage in it. And then there's some kind of ambery woody notes and musk in the base. So this is honestly, this is a very pleasant, fresh, calming um, coastal sort of scent. I might give it a wear. Um, I'm thinking it's probably not the sort of thing I would wear. I'm not a big fig fan in general, but it's a really nice fig. It smells super natural. It smells like you're walking along the coast 
and there's like a breeze honestly that's probably what it's supposed to smell like it's probably supposed to evoke a moment so, really nice hydro fig okay so we've got one last fragrance and on that, oh not that one this is called powdered veil which I love anything powdery and veil just sounds great to me it sounds like something light and eth eth ethereal ephemeral ethereal are those similar they're probably similar <laughs> okay um, so let's get this is the primrose fairy Rose Fairy. Let's give this a spray. Okay, give a smell. Hmm. Okay, powdery. And it does have, I'm going to spray it again. It does have something lightly soft and spicy on it. So it's powdery. I feel like it has um, definitely either an amber note or an ambery accord. It's got something like a softly warm, spicy. Maybe it could also maybe be like an incense. I'm assuming there's like musk, sandalwood, something woody in here. the spiciness is like something like ginger, cardamom, cinnamon. Anyway, um, this one's like a little harder to place for me. There's no clues in the name either except that it's powdery. Okay, it says woody, amber, powder, musky, floral, vanilla, warm, spicy. Okay, so the notes. We have pink pepper, um, a rhubarb, interesting, and geranium. Geranium has like a touch of spice, I feel, to it. Um, got quite a few floral notes in it. Um, and then in the base, this is mostly what I'm getting. We have amber, cashmere, sandalwood, vanilla, patchouli, labdanum, and musk, which is mostly what I'm getting. But I think I'm getting a little bit of pink pepper. I would definitely wear this. Yeah, I'll definitely try this one out. This is an amber scent that I feel I would actually um, enjoy. Um, but you know, you don't really know until you wear something how it suits you. But wow, I'm not just I'm not just saying this. Like I, I mean, I always try to be. Um, I always try to be positive about fragrances, so like, hardly, well, you will never, you will hardly ever hear me say like, this is a bad fragrance, or these are like cheap, or I don't like these, or whatever, because um, I just don't really see it that way with fragrances. I feel like when I don't like something, or I wouldn't wear it, I always know that there's other people who would, and so it doesn't mean it's a bad fragrance, or not something to recommend, it just is not something I would wear. And I'm picky, so there's a lot of things that I don't wear. So I'm very fragrance positive in general, but I really mean it when I say I really liked a lot of these and just loved the smell and don't necessarily think, don't don't necessarily know that that means it'd be something that I wind up wanting, wearing, liking when I wear it and want a bottle of, but um, on paper at least a lot of these I think are so pleasant, very natural smelling very high quality smelling, um, yeah, like very niche smelling, but in a very pleasant way. But of course I always, I chose this, I chose the samples that I thought I would like and I guess I did a good job. Um, so that is my review of the Miller Harris samples that I ordered. I'm super excited. Um, 
Yeah, I might wind up buying a bottle of one of these. We'll see. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Anyway, everybody, sending you all love, peace, harmony, and beauty. You take care, be good to yourself and the world, and I'll catch you again soon. Okay, bye.